on the terror episode of Super Reaction Bros. I am Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official teaser trailer for another in Disney's continuing line of remaking Live classic action remakes. Oh, well, I was I'm going to just flat out say remaking I um their iconic and Disney animated films. Uh, we saw a we saw the first teaser trailer for Aladdin recently. Yeah. Um, their last big one was Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. Their next upcoming big one is Mulan. After the one we're looking at today. Yeah. If there's some films that deserve to be re remake into live action. Perfect example is Beauty and the Beast because they filled in some gaps to help make sense in the story, but still kept the story to original. Well, there's some, again, there's some that it's like, it should just be left alone the way it is. Now, today we're, t of course, talking about uh, The Lion King. This is the official teaser trailer for it. This is the, um, <clears throat> being done by the same director who did the uh, recent live-action Jungle Book movie. Not John the, Favreau. Not the Andy Serkis one, the John Favreau one. Yes. Um, More popular one right yes. now. Yes. Um, this stars, has a really big star to the cast, with only one person reprising a role from the original anime movie, which is James Earl Jones as Mufasa. Mufasa, yeah. He's so you got, have Mufasa. So you got Seth Rogen, Donald Glover, Keegan Michael Key, Chuto EG4, the guy from Doctor Strange. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, John Oliver, uh, Beyonce. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Go here to fly. It's like, what do you need to know? Um, it's it's Othello. Oh, no, no, no. It's Kimbo the White Lion. No, no, wait. No, wait. It's it's Othello makes a Kimbo the White You know, yeah. It's the, you know, the plot. It's pretty much, um, he grows up. He, um. Probably gets killed, pretty much. Because by his, his uncle. Yeah, he gets portrayed by his uncle. He eventually grows up. Nala like, tells him to get his shit. Nala finds him, tells him to get his shit together. Mm -hmm. Well, accidentally finds him, tells him to get his shit together. And he goes to um, take his kingdom back. Yeah, in a way, pretty much. Yeah. Even though we're barely going to probably see a little bit of it in this, pretty much. It's just yeah. a teaser, just like how we got in Aladdin. So we're just going to get a quick snippet of what, what to yeah. expect and what's going to look like. Yeah, so um, vis visually, it's going to look like more or less like the animals we saw in um, Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. Pretty much more CG visual effects, which is fine. Um, directed by John Favreau, like I said, being written by the person who's worked on Catch Me If You Can, who wrote Catch Me If You Can, and The Terminal, so. So, some good writers on there, so. But they also did Speed 2 Cruise Control. That's where we need to be careful. <laughs> as long as they stick to the original story, I mean, if they could fill in some gaps for some I, people, maybe, but as, as long as they stick to the original story, it's, it's still a good, solid story. It's mm -hmm. still one of their iconic... Uh, classic uh, film. So let's just dive right into this for the official teaser trailer for The Lion King. So here we go. Must not sing song. Holy crap, it's pretty much the opening sequence for those. Yeah, that's what it is. Because I think that's what they did in the original. That's how they did the teaser for the original. The light touches. Little eye. But a king's time as ruler oh, yeah. rises and falls like the sun. One day, the sun oh, will my time here. That's gonna be a bummer scene. And will rise with you as the new king. The new king. There it yes! is! The classic rock. Sorry. I know, sorry. It's okay. This is the classic shot. That's all we needed. Yes. Simba, Pumba, Scar, Timon, Zuzu, Nala, and Mufasa. Remember. Okay, I have a couple... Songs by Tim Rice and Elton John. I, nice. have, a, I have a couple, you know... Uh, go ahead, go <clears> ahead. <throat> uh, yeah, this was what you said. This was pretty much, more or less, a remake of the original teaser trailer for the animated Lion King. They had more lines um, to it. Yeah, and every scene they showed, I've seen 
animated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I'm kind of concerned to see how the voices are gonna play out. It's it's nothing against you know any of the, it's not because of the actors. I just want to see how the voices play out because like how okay let me ask you how did the voices play I never saw the Jungle Book live action John Favreau no they did great they did so they the did, voice acting was fantastic looked, felt, it let me rephrase it felt natural I'm not saying yeah, it was no no good. that's why I said compared to what we looked at in the Mowgli film pretty much compared to the Jungle Book the Mowgli one is more like more facial pretty much full okay. on they wanted to get the facial features well in the Jungle Book one it was all about pretty much them trying to you know just kind of like slightly moving the voice a bit in a way to where it's like it seems natural but it still makes sense he, like I said in Mowgli it's like it's more like they want to capture the facial features um, and it feels like that's where they're probably going to try to go here maybe a little bit trying to get more of the natural probably facial features but still have their them as they naturally look and things like that I think it's the only difference they're still going to try to implement because it's like for a lot of these animals they, not a lot of them can be trained Compared to, like, uh, in Mogul. It, it's a lion. To, I'm not going to ask a lion to, like, <laughs> stay there for, like, ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good. <laughs> you know, um, have they confirmed if there's going to be any musical segments, like the anime and mo original anime and movie? That part, I don't know. I think they said, that, that's why I said. So I don't I don't think there is, because there, there wasn't any in the Jungle Book, right? There was, uh, there, there was maybe a couple, but not, like mainly like in your face there's maybe one or two pretty much where they okay. they, th they threw in there but it wasn't like a full-on like like singing type of thing yeah. so i don't know if they will but even if they do it'll probably be a, a little bit of it pretty much just to hear a hint of it just to get a rough idea i mean they better have freaking akuna matata because that was like one of the best they'll to bring up the line i mean it's as i told you it's billy eichner and seth rogan voicing timon and pumbaa respectively um uh, based off just this teaser, I think it looks fine. Um, looks all right. Again, and there's the nothing. Teaser. There's nothing yet that surprised me. It's pretty much what you. They, they, it's it's kind of what I was go. I would have gone with just for a teaser myself for the Lion King, which is just it's tried opening up with the original opening, but also let's just end that shot with the classic, you know, on top of that, you know, the the big rock, pretty much that one. Pride rock. The pride rock. Thank you. I was trying to find the right words. Pride rock, pretty much, and that was like. You know the, the segment, the centerpiece of yeah. the whole film. Yeah, nothing. I think that was my only downside of this trailer. Nothing surprised me. It was what I expected. It's mm -hmm. Jungle Book live action CG animals mm -hmm. look clo really close to realistic compared to the original animated stuff, and that's that's pretty much it. That's if I have one nick major nitpick, it's just I've seen this before, but in an animated form. Yeah, it, that's all it is. And it didn't it didn't surprise me at all. No, it was, it was a surprise. I don't be wrong. I had nostalgia feels when, you know, the guy yeah. started singing, but, you know. Yeah, well, well, oh, and James Earl Jones started talking because yeah, it's yeah, exactly. James goddamn Earl Jones. Yeah, I mean, that's why I said the only difference with this compared to the original teaser they did with the animated is that here it's like they had they had to toss, it, toss in these lines because these are classic lines that it's like we hear, again, like you said, it's bringing back the nostalgia, the chills, all that type of stuff. It's just bringing... So that you're like, oh my god, I remember those lines when he said them in the animated film and stuff like that. Because, like I said, in the Aladdin one, uh, Aladdin and Lion King, for me personally, are my top personal favorites, pretty much, growing up watching Disney films, animated films. Those are my two top favorite ones. I mean, I still oh. give respect to all the other films, but if somebody had a knife to my throat, I was like, those are my two favorite films. Oh, and don't forget, we're gonna have our favorite scene in childhood history, the death of Mufasa. Oh, that's gonna be a That I saw the stampede, I'm like, oh, mother... Mm -hmm. It's gonna be interesting how they're gonna do that scene, because the way they did it in the film was just like, it hits you in the feels pretty much really badly. You're just like, oh my god. Um, but that's gonna be a tough scene to watch, but I just can't wait to see how they're gonna do everything and put it all together because it's gonna, it's gonna be very I'm curious to see more. I am um, this this trailer's had me is has piqued my interest a bit yeah. more. Like I, I, I I'm more curious honestly right now if I had to choose I'm more curious about where we're going for Aladdin than where we're going for Lion King. Because I know what I'm gonna get from the Lion King, which is what I got from the jungle book. Yeah, you it's know just, it's just with Aladdin it's like are they gonna stick to the exact story or are they gonna change up a few things? You know like because like I said um uh, Beauty and the Beast pretty much it did that where it's like it changed up a few aspects of it but still has some iconic scenes that were still in there but it's like they changed a few scenes where it helped make sense that it was like a, the, the 
the plot holes that a lot of people were curious about. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the only route, big difference route is they're going to change things here and there, but keep the core story yeah, the Have same. you seen The Lion King? Uh, not The Lion King, The, um, no, the I, Jungle Book. I haven't seen any of the Disney live action remakes. You, you need to start cat and cat. You caught up, at least. Um, Especially not... for the, at least for the Jungle Book, because like I said, with John Favreau doing this film, it gives you a rough idea how he's doing things. I'm just saying. I'm I just know. Saying. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just, I'm not on board to retrack through stuff. I've already seen it in animated form with only some slight change. That's, that's my personal preference. Um, maybe. I know. I know. Maybe I'll know. probably at least see a Jungle Book because that's probably key to um, understanding how this movie's going to work. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said it's definitely worth the watch. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to Disney's live action remakes, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Uh, let us know what you guys thought of uh, the, the teaser trailer. Um, do you agree with us where it's like, you know, it wasn't it didn't really surprise you, but you kind of figured this is the route that we're going to go with for the teaser um, what are your hopes for in this in this uh, in this trailer? I mean, what are you hoping for? You know, maybe certain changes, not changes, but mainly you know maybe they could try to explain some stuff a little bit more. You know, you can probably let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. This has been a very Lion King filled episode of SRV. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.